There's some really good resellers in the chat. What eyes odds would you pick up? I mean, we're talking 99.9% .9 of the time you're going to pass on IZOD, I'll pass on that one. There's just so much supply out there, not a lot of demand. You can get them for pretty cheap, brand new. hate finding Rock Republic. You know, it always looks like a Rock Revival. Yes, Young Haven says Butterfly Cigarettes. Tell me more. How much are, how much are Young Haven t-shirts worth? Remember, used. How much are they worth used? It's worth tons. Great comps and seltzer for a t-shirt. It's a sustainable fashion brand. Huh. We're learning a lot today. But even just a t-shirt, there's like demand for a, a pocket tee. So there we go. Maybe a new brand for you. Maybe a new boa. We'll put some comps on the screen here on the YouTube recording. I don't know. The t-shirt's really not in great condition. Really pilly. Let's see, I think it's 100 cotton. Maybe it says it up here. Oh, 55% hemp, 45 cotton. Bought my husband a bunch, passive, too warned. Made in the USA with globally sourced materials. Everyone. So at the very least, we learned a new bolo today, so this is fun. The look is worn. It's a great brand, but if not in good condition, the tag is cool. Yeah, definitely a cool tag. Thank you, Allison Moore, for the subscription over on YouTube. Just got the notification. Sometimes it gives me a notification, sometimes it doesn't. So if you went over and subscribed on YouTube, thank you. Um, even if I didn't announce it out loud, I appreciate it. I'll see it when I get off here. For some reason, some of my YouTube subscriptions, it'll give me a notification. Sometimes it don't. There seems to be no rhyme or reason to it. They always look worn. Okay, cool. So again, we found a Polo Ralph Warren. This is a nice pattern on this one, unfortunately. Per usual, these Vs are broken. If anyone works for Ralph Warren, you gotta talk to them about the quality control with the Vs. It's the only brand where I find that really consistently. Otherwise, I'd pick that up because it's a nice pattern, even in a size large, which isn't the best brand, or isn't the best size. Live free, what is this brand? Gromichi, oh, I don't think that's anything. Passed on a LeBron, I think. This Royal, is that what you're referring to? Shelly, is this what you're referring to? Thank you for the follow, Angie. We're having a lot of fun right now because we're learning some new brands. Chat is taking me to school today. No, I know that's not LeBron. I'm just wondering if that's what Shelly was wondering about. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Yeah, I see what you mean. You saw, like, the crown. I gotcha. I appreciate you looking out for me. That's good behavior. We'll reward that with a thank you, Shelly. It's good behavior. You got your eyes peeled for us. Raise your hand if Young Haven is a new brain for you. Like you learned that just now today, thanks to all these wonderful people in the chat. We got 490 of you right now, which is pretty awesome. All right, so it looks like these are, there's like a, just almost a tear kind of. This kind of has like a little bit of a suspect tag. Let me just double check yeah there's an RN number on the back so we're legit on this plain white which isn't my favorite probably means it's stained somewhere I don't know it's tough to find these without a uh, ring around the collar yeah there's a slight ring around the collar so that's back yeah look at all these people raising their hands everyone's learning today that's cool Juan from one stop shop is in the house now here's a cool find Juan this one's for you buddy good to see you I hope you're well haven't talked to you in a bit I hope you and the family are doing really well. Juan is such a great guy. Tory Richard uniforms. Uh, I love Tory Richard, one of my favorite brands. I just posted about Tory Richard, what, two days ago on Instagram? But Tory Richard uniforms. So I wonder, I wonder if this is like, you know, you work, work in like a restaurant, you know? And like the, the uniform is, uh, is Hawaiian shirts. I wonder if that's what it is. What a cool pattern on that, size medium. Looks like a men's size medium. From a hotel? Yeah, maybe. I'd wear it out to Vegas. Let's go to Vegas and wear that shirt. Let's go. That's cool. Neat t-shirt. I like that t-shirt. Little steamboat piece. What size is this? Size large. 
Storm Creek is not a great brand. I might buy this for my buddy Ben. Uh, it's kind of pilly. Yeah, I'm gonna put it back. My buddy Ben is thinking about buying a place in Steamboat. He's gonna buy that for him, but it's not in really great condition. He's also in Florida, so he gets to wear that fleece vest at least four days a year. Not till next year. Another polo Ralph Lauren. No pony on the, no pony. I don't think I'm gonna pick that up, no pony. Nope. Low 20s for that uniform shirt. Let's have a reseller meet up in Vegas. There you go. There you go. Look at the balance on that Columbia, just hanging on like that. It's another Brooks Brothers. This is a performance polo. This one's a polyester one. Nope, it's cotton. Oh, it feels like polyester, but it's cotton. Uh, it's got no logo on the chest, so I'm gonna pass on that one. It's a nice lightweight one though. I don't know, there's probably money to be made on this one, but I'm gonna pass on it. It's plain, there's no logo. Not a big size, so. Passed on this shirt two weeks ago, last time I was here. I pa uh, Echo Unlimited, I pick it up sometimes when it's like really, really unique. Big embroideries, big spell outs, that sort of thing. I like J. Crew. I'm actually wearing a J. Crew. It just doesn't happen to have good resale value. A lot of those store brands is that way. I just heard somebody's uh, notification for like the sale on eBay. I just heard that notification from across the store. <laughs> That's awesome. Someone's making money. Here we go. Little T. Maddie. Nice uh, bread and butter golf polo brand. It's an outdoor lifestyle brand, but uh, they're really big, specifically in the golf world. It's kind of got a cool little pattern on it. It's got a couple minor little poles on it. And these, I pick up a lot of Travis Matthew. And these, you're looking for good condition, obviously, like anything else. But anything that makes it unique, like pattern-wise, this is pretty neat. This is a neat pattern. The shirt definitely has some wear to it, as you can see in some spots. I think I'm gonna pick it up anyway. It's golf polo season officially, it's March. That's gonna go in the cart. It does have like a little westerny kinda to it, Mary. You're right about that. Love when I hear bread and butter brands, right. That bread and butter just happened, this polo bread and butter happens to be worth a little bit more money this time of year. The price of bread just went up. Appreciate everybody being here. It's a lot of, it's a lot more fun for me. And we get to learn together. I've learned a new brand today, two new brands today. If you're just jumping in, this whole video will be up tomorrow up on my YouTube. If you wanna subscribe to my YouTube, you can just click on my name up on the top of the screen. Go to my website, it's the top link. Right now it's linked to my last YouTube video, which I just published yesterday. It's actually performing really well. Now this is an interesting Columbia piece. I pass on most Columbia. It's a size medium though. I'm gonna, it's a hoodie. It doesn't really have a big spell out or anything. I think I'm gonna pass on this one too. Size medium, I'm good. It's borderline as it is. Size medium pushes it below the border for me. Just wasn't unique enough. Pass on most Nike golf polos. I'm gonna pass on that one too. Wasn't in good condition, so not really worth talking through. Mama Stein, you're funny. There's another eyes on that we'll pass on. Uh, bigger sizes for men's sell better. Uh, PDX. PDX Kelly in the house. The bigger, the better. Anything to lower the supply. So bigger sizes have lower supply. When you're selling one-off items, you don't need a ton of demand if there's no supply, if you're the only one listed.
Here's a Western shirt. I don't know this brand, Western Frontier. It's probably a pass. If it was really unique, we would maybe go for it, but. Man, the store's busy. Where'd all these people come from? All right. I'm gonna go back to that jeans section that I kind of got pushed out of. I'm gonna go back after this. There's more polo shirts to be had, so we're gonna go back there. There was just like six people in the aisle, like trailing behind me. They were just trying to get on TV. Oh. Pardon me, guys. You missed my space. I'm trying to make money, people. through this little section here. Looking for golf pants, hiking pants, jeans from good name brands, corduroys. Some jogger pants too. Oh, I'm looking for wool. Speaking of wool. Could have to put you down for a second. It's impossible to hang these pants back up. All that work for a pair of Joseph and Feiss. <laughs> Gotta hang these back up. I need two hands for this. Hope everyone's having a a nice little Tuesday. What's the weather like? Where are you joining from? What's the weather like in your neck of the woods? It is freezing here in Asheville. Very unseasonably cold. 36 degrees last I looked. And it's just so windy. It just feels like it's 20. It's like super gusty out there. I know some of you from the Great White North, you're probably saying I'd kill for 36 right now. But it's a cold 36. And everything's relative, right? We had a February here in Asheville that was more like March, just really like mild temperatures. There's already leaves on some trees, the flowers are out, and now it's like really cold all of a sudden. We got Guatemala in the house, how about it? Cool weather. LA is rainy. Thank you for all the fires, Mary. You are a treat. All right, that's enough, Mary. <laughs> that's enough, thank you so much. That's super kind of you. I appreciate every single one. You are awesome. snowstorm here in Vermont. I, I talked to a buddy of mine from New Hampshire yesterday, and he said that y'all are getting a bunch of snow up there. It's like 6 or 12, what did he say, 6 or 12 inches? I was like, geez. It's 50 in Grifton, New York. Where's, or Grifton, North Carolina. Where's, where's Grifton? I'm in Asheville. That's right. Okay, I think this is about where we picked things back off. Yep, those are those Nikes. Cool. So we've got through there. Sorry, man, that's my cart there. I'll get it out of your way. Thanks. All right, did not get to one of these long sleeve racks. Let's go park this. Uh, come on, I got scooped again. There's like all of a sudden a hundred people in here. Maybe this is our opportunity. I don't think I came to this rack. Did I, or did I, did I already go to this rack? I just keep getting pushed around. Empire Clothing Company, I don't know that brand. I did that one, remember the feel yet? I thought so. Yeah, you're probably right. Which is the one I didn't do? I had to skip over one. I did that one. I did this one. I don't think I did this one. 
Oh, what he puts me in the corner. Hope you're doing well. 856 flipper. I do pick up some stuff from this brand. I'm going to pass on this long sleeve polo shirt. I think it's Fasonoble is, in the, is how you pronounce that brand. My French is brutal though. I pick up some stuff, very limited stuff from them. Here's a polo Ralph Warren, but no pony. For me, that's an easy pass. Unless it was super unique or silk or wool or something like that. Grifton is near Greenville. Okay, I've never been out to that neck of the woods. My wife went to ECU though, so she probably knows that area. Okay, special Betty, you've been here. You're from Waynesville? Oh, cool. You ain't far at all. There's a Wrangler I'm going to pass on because it's a button. Oh, I usually do the pearl snaps, and there's nothing unique about it. Just like a plain button-down shirt, so there's nothing nothing there. I don't think it's frozen. Got good service here. Looks like the chat's still rolling. I think I'm good. What in particular do you look for for clothing? I look for brands that have a high resale value and a good sell-through rate on eBay, Poshmark, Depop, and Mercari. So literally hundreds of brands. If you're interested in looking more and see what I resell, you can um, you can click up on my name and you can go to one of my stores and you can see a whole lot of brands. It'd be tough to just list them all here. Yeah, I don't really pick up those Lesciano Black. Do you do okay with those Poshman Paradise? I trust your judgment. What do those sell for for you typically, including the shipping? It's always been a pass for me. Thank you for the follow. Best friend is my grandma. What a cool screen name. That just made me do like the aww. Ralph Warren, size medium. I'm gonna pass on that. The bigger sizes do better. Smaller sizes, it's just such a crowded market. Hard to stand out, especially with a plain shirt like that. And here's another one with the pony, size medium. I'm gonna pass on it. Just the, the, the supply listed online is just so high. Boy, this rack is rough. I do sell mostly men's. Some women's too, but mostly men's. Thirty dollars plus five seventy-five shipping for a for a button-down. I'll have to go check that out. That seems like a lot. Is that do, have you just sold like one for that price, or is that like pretty consistent for you? Thank you for the follow up pork and beans. Another great screen name. Appreciate those creative screen names. It's another Ralph Warren size medium pony. We're gonna pass on it. Just too plain, too small, too crowded market. So smaller Brooks Brothers will pass. What's that club ride? Never heard of that before. Mexican picker is in the house. How are you doing, brother? Thanks for the uh, the TikTok logos, I guess. Um, appreciate the guests. Super kind of you. Those of you who are just like jumping in, you can catch this whole video. It'll be up on YouTube. I'm going to do it tomorrow morning. It'll be my 10th live thrift video that I post up on, on YouTube. Love to have you subscribed over there. If you're interested, go ahead and click my name up at the top. And uh, it's the very first link on the top of my website. Go to my profile. There's a Tommy Bahama pullover. Kind of a snap up pullover. Feels like a smaller size, small size medium. It's a little bit rough shape. It's a borderline item. I'm gonna pass it, especially medium, a little bit rough shape. Yeah. I have his over on rebounds. All right, let's scan some shoes right quick. I haven't really been paying attention to the shoes. Shape, 
I don't usually find shoes at this store. Once in a blue moon, here's some Merrells. They're torched. Do a quick shoe scan. Those are women's. I'm going to pass on those new balances. Jeep engineered traction sole. What the heck are these? Does anyone know anything about these? Does Jeep make sandals now? J41. Um, with Asics and really like any any uh, sneaker brand, it's, you gotta look at the model. Like for instance, like a low number model could cost you know forty dollars retail, and and a high end running shoe from that brand could be one hundred and sixty new. So to make a generalization and say like all Asics are good, it'd be hard to do because there's just there's so much variance. feel like discombobulated on this trip because it's just like I keep having to like break off from the aisle I'm going through and move around so I'm like forgetting like where I've stopped so we're gonna start here so anything we see here coats is gonna be $9.99 flat rate so some well, some of them are, I guess are priced lower than that how's this drifting going it's a pretty good day I think we're teetering on it being like awesome I think we're just like one rack away from being like whoa and here's a good rack to be in, by the way. Uh, women's jackets, especially this time of year. Even though it's cold here in Nashville today, it's been really warm. So there's an opportunity for a lot of stuff to be passed over here because consumers are right now in Nashville have been buying polo shirts and short sleeves, and sandals and swim shorts. Whoa. So we can find some hits like this. Pendleton looks like a women's blazer. Pendleton wool. Pretty cool. I don't know that I've found, I've bought or sold a Pendleton women's blazer before, but 100% virgin wool. Looks like it needs a little bit of cleanup. It's got a few little wear spots potentially on it. I'm going to put it in the cart for now. Looks like, I don't know what the price is, probably $9.99 since there's no price. There's a couple little hits on it, which is typical with wool. It's like 5% dog hair. I don't know. One of my clothing resellers, my fem my women clothing resellers, think about this piece. It's definitely a handful of little hits. Not good for knees today. Almost fell yesterday at my house. Some Pendleton is a pickup. Not all Pendleton. Some Pendleton is a pickup. We'll comp that one out. I'll check it out. I have a feeling it's kind of borderline. Yeah, Pendleton Blazers don't do well for me, but others they do. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm concerned about is I just don't know that the... Uh, the heavy wool classic blazer is in high demand right now for women. It's also 5% dog here. Go back and pick up that club ride shirt. Oh gracious, Flippin' Farsters, you're gonna have to help me out. Um, color, I probably just walked right by it. Thank you for looking out for me. Enforcers, if you help me out with like a color or a pattern, maybe I'd know where to go. Appreciate the uh, appreciate that gift, Eric. How you been, brother? I don't feel like have I not seen you in a week or so. Hope you're doing well. That was so many racks ago. Uh, you read it out loud and said you heard of that brand. I don't remember the color. 
what was the brand again? I'll have to scroll back up. Thank you for the donuts too, Eric. I'm just trying to scroll up in the chat. There's so much going on here. Made in the USA, Pendleton does well, women's. Isn't all Pendleton made in the USA? I'll go back and pick up a club ride shirt. Gosh, I don't even remember where that is. But thank you for looking out for me. I think we'll just have to be comfortable knowing we left that one for someone else to make some money on. And that's okay. Club ride. It was like two racks ago in the men's shirts. Okay. It was an all gray shirt for the club ride. Okay. Hmm. I don't really remember. That's okay. It's okay. I appreciate y'all looking out though. Banana Republic Women's Blazer I passed up. I probably did that intentionally. something or other. Huh. It's a Carhartt like scrubs top. Is there any value in that? Carhartt scrubs top? I don't know what they, they're going to have that priced at. Is there any value in Carhartt for scrubs? I didn't even know they made scrubs. I guess Carhartt's kind of a, you know, it's a working brand. It's like a fashion brand all of a sudden now. It's funny because it used to be just like such a blue collar brand. Now it's like in fashion. I would say no unless it's a set. I say for sure on the scrub top. Scrubs are expensive. Okay. Some dissenting opinions on the scrubs. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate all opinions. Here's an Athleta. What do you think about this piece? It's a, it's a medium Athleta. Uh, I guess we can stop the conversation right there. It's all stained up. But would you would y'all buy? It's like a fleece, kind of a interesting little zip up piece right there. It's all stained up, so I'm not gonna get it. But if that was clean, size medium, would you pick that up? Scrub tops, I know I've comped them before. Pass, pass, Athleta, yes. <laughs> Sometimes I regret asking. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's just kind of funny. Here's an LL Bean piece, size medium. This looks kind of neat. It's on the end of the rack. All right. It's an LL Bean jacket, kind of heavy, Sherpa lined. Maybe mid weight is probably the better word. Uh, broken zipper. Broken zipper. Oh well. That's probably why it's put back on the end of the rack. Spray and wash to get the stains out. Thank you for the stain tips. Typically, if I'm unless something's really valuable, I'm passing on stain stuff in the thrift store because it it'll take me time, and it's not a hundred percent chance that it'll come out either. So those two factors, I just don't want to spend time. Time is money. So we got some more women's jackets to go through. I'm feeling a hot rack here. I don't know why. Hope everyone's doing good. Thanks for all the opinions. LL Bean, some LL Bean, yes, some LL Bean. Like most brands, it's some. This is a, a item I passed on last week that got the chat a buzz. Everyone was talking about this piece. It's just kind of in rough shape. I guess that's a good brand. Here's an Eddie Bauer. It feels like it's wool. I'm going to give it a look. The shell is 100% wool. I don't know what y'all think about this. This is a little out of my lane. Eddie Bauer. Let's see if there's a size somewhere on it. Doesn't have a size for me, does it? Oh, there's the size. Looks older, not lined, I'd pass. Size 10. 
not lined on pass. Looks older. 100% wool. Little hound's tooth pattern. Everyone's saying pass. My income is 100% tied to chat. They say pass, it's gone. Not a fan, okay. Somebody was saying something about something else that they wanted me to pick up. I already forget what it was. Something shiny went by. The Willery. Anything there? I'm in Asheville, North Carolina. Seashell, where are you joining from? It's a cold day in Asheville today, let me tell you. Atlanta is in the house. Pendleton can be made in Mexico. Gotcha. Um, most things here on this rack are going to be $6.99. You can see up there, but some things will be priced as marked. So 511 piece here. This isn't a brand I think I've ever picked up in women's before. I don't think it's very common in women's, maybe. Probably doesn't sell as well, like, new as it does men's tactical brand what do y'all think about this it's a looks like a polyester blend Where is this? see 88 polyester 12 elastane so polyester stretch little full zip piece 511 what do you think found some 511 cargos i love those so this will be 6.99 which feels a little high I'm going to throw it in the cart and take a look at it. It feels a little high at $6.99, my gut tells me. Every now and again, I'll find some really good cooler bar. Is that something? Every now and again, I'll find a men's blazer that's worth good money on this rack, too. The Willery has good comps. I remember that one. That was uh, this one. The Willery. We didn't really look at the piece, but... It's kind of a strange piece. Do people wear stuff like this? What do you even call that? This is why I don't do a lot of women's stuff. They want $6.99 for it, whatever it is. What do you even call that? It's like a jacket with no buttons, a shawl. Yes, on a cool bar. Comps are actually low on the Carhartt scrub. Thank you, Thrifty Duckies. Appreciate you. Appreciate you joining. I saw you join the, the reseller group. I think yesterday. Appreciate having you over there too. Cool bar has sunscreen. Yeah, I think it said that on there. Where was that? Forget where we left off. Somewhere is right around here. A little Nike piece. Nike, women's, little cotton zip up, jobby. Nothing fancy, got a classic look to it. Where was that Kula bar? There it is. Little quarter zip. UPF 50. This is good. I want $6.99 for this cool bar. My gut tells me that that's not worth it. I'll throw it in the cart because y'all said to. So I'll check out the comps on that. That's what I call them, Bolero. That uh, that jacket thing with no uh, the jacket with no buttons or zipper or anything. dog hair. I don't care what it is. I'm not picking it up. Shopping for stuff to resell online. Here's a gap, which I don't normally pick up. 100% lamb's wool. It's kind of interesting. 
It's kind of ratty though and about 5% dog hair, so I'm fine on that. What's the most effective way to cross post items? I use Vendu, I've been using it for a year and a half. I have a link up in my profile if you want to check out Vendu. If you click on my name, go to my website, you'll see it. If you, want, you can do a free trial through that link. And if you do like it and end up signing up, you get 25% off your first month. But check it out, see if it's for you. I love, I love it, I've used it for a year and a half. Karen Scott, is that anything? I don't really know women. I'm hoping for like obvious stuff like uh like Patagonia and whatnot. That's just a very plain timber one, really not much resale value there. Comps are good in the cool bar. Like worth it for seven bucks, you think? There's an old brand Jordash. Corduroy piece. With the leather buttons. Very classic look. They still even make Jordash. I remember this from like the 80s, 90s. Made in China. Cool vintage piece, you think the Jordash? It is definitely cool. It's just a matter of like, will it sell for a good price? And what do they want on it? I think that's probably gonna be $6.99. You look for spring versus winter, I look for everything. Right now I look for winter because I can find like really good stuff for cheap that people pass over because they're not looking for winter stuff right now, they're looking for summer. And I also look for spring and summer stuff right now because it'll sell fast, so yes and yes. Whoa, that's a cool piece. All right, so what do we got? We got a little suede collar action. So it's not goose down, it's polyester. Oh, yeah. Insulated long jacket here. Size XL. It's a men's jacket in the women's section. They want seven bucks for it. Nice piece here. Kind of like the suede collar, suede accents. Nice find there. That's my speed. Last time I was in this little section at the store, you found two goose down jackets, women's. Oh, jeez. Got to do the one handed rehang. This is an advanced move. You teach this in a. Uh, was taught in your uh, junior year of reselling school. The one-handed rehang. Orvis, nice check zipper and buttons. Thank you. Thank you for the reminders. I'm glad you're having fun. I'm having fun too. What is this black pyramid? What the heck is that? Anyone know that? Black pyramid. Skip the Jordash, get Orvis. Thank you, Riz. I think I'm vibing with that mentality too. Inspired me to look through the men's blazers, found a Versace and a Valentino. Lord have mercy. Nice job. That's awesome. Terry, that's really cool. Jordash comps are under 12 bucks on eBay. Thank you, Bridget. Appreciate you looking up comps for me. The coolest people here in the chat. They're smart too, they're kind, and they're cool. Black Pyramid is Chris Brown's line. Interesting. I love all these celebrities with their clothing lines. Somebody find out how much I'm gonna pick up that Orvis anyway. It's it's I, I appreciate y'all uh, rallying the troops to look up the price. I'm picking up the Orvis. It's worth enough for me to pick it up. All right. 
t-shirts. So this looks like it's mostly t-shirts. Might cherry pick this aisle. Look for like collared shirts and whatnot. Here we go. North Face. This isn't really the best pickup. Actually, it's not a pickup at all. It's kind of ratty. Short sleeve size, medium North Face. Just okay. It's borderline and it's uh, rough anyway, so we're going to pass on that. Thank you for the fire. RZ Flippers in the house. Appreciate that. There's two RZ Flippers. Am I, am I right? I feel like, is there a team? I gotta follow in some gifts from someone else, RZ Rippers. Backs are tight, they are. They stock here like constantly. These are all like size medium, so there have to be kind of better items, better inventory to kind of go down to this size. Men's mediums are tough in most brands, or it's a tough sell. I can get a pass on that polo shirt medium. You didn't even need to check the V's on that one. Here's that Solomon shirt. I think I passed on this a couple weeks ago. Is Raul and Zach. I'm Zach. Okay. Only one handle though. Okay. Is there somebody else that was RZ Flippers? Here's a, this feels like a silk Abercrombie and Fitch. Men's medium. Definitely feels silk. Well, thanks for the fires, RZ, Raul, and Zach. And it looks like Zach is in the house today. English on this tag. U.S. No materials. Interesting. I think it's silk. I'm going to pass on it anyway. Oh, right behind it, Tori Richard. Big fan of this brand. One of my favorite brands from a Hawaiian perspective to find, especially this time of year, you really, the sales on this sort of stuff really heats up. So Tori Richard, the size is medium. I'm gonna pick it up. I think that's a, a silk piece also. Kind of a cool pattern on it. Where's the materials tag? Feels like silk, oh, there it is. 78% 22 ISO. so we're gonna go ahead and pick that one up. Kind of a cool, funky, unique pattern on it. Outdoor supply. An REI shirt, REI co-op, or just co-op, just co-op cycles. Might be a local thing. Great tour, Richard. I agree. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Ooh, wow, that's cool. because I'm balling that hard. <laughs> That's awesome. We're getting that. What's that size medium? That's 
kind of ratty. This is for men or for women? Uh, I think women. Oh. Shoot, you know, I don't know, man. L.L. Bean Women's, the size tag is chopped. I've actually done pretty good with some of these L.L. Bean Women's shirts. I'm going to pass on it. I don't really like it. It's a borderline item. You have no idea what you're doing, but <laughs> it's right. Stop bothering me. I'm hanging out with my friends. Ah. Ah. All right. What's left? What's left? Is maybe nothing. Cool looking jacket. Yeah, Tommy Baham and men's silk is good, especially like big, bright, bold patterns. Really good. Here's a good brand for you. I'm not going to pick it up because they're torched very clearly. Gosh, I don't even know how someone could wear a shoe that long. That brand Alta is a good running shoe brand. Oh, I don't think we finished this rack because some of us here. Oh, pardon me. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Do a quick spin through some hard goods. Okay, so I took a quick spin through the hard goods section. There really wasn't anything worth picking up, so I just fast forwarded through this whole boring section of the video. So we'll just do a quick count. If you wanna see the, this whole live, this will be up on YouTube tomorrow morning. So we'll just count up what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I think there's 30 items in the cart here. Yeah, I think that's the best. I think there's 30 items in the cart. My guess is probably 10 of those will get, go back. I'm guessing we probably have about 20, but that is, uh, that's my favorite find. I'll give you one guess. 
the next time you see that shirt, I'm giving you the one guess where that will be. Where's the next time you see it, where's it gonna be? So appreciate everybody hanging out. This was fun. Um, it was also educational. Thanks to those of you who tipped me off on a couple of new brands. If you want to check out this whole live, it'll be up on YouTube tomorrow morning. Appreciate everybody being in the chat. Love everybody's support. Love the community. Love talking to everybody. Yeah, we'll, do, we'll be live again tomorrow, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. This shirt will not be on the hanger, but that's a good guess. Uh, there is still a better guess. That's right, Paige. The shirt will be, you know the answer, where the shirt will be tomorrow. But Anyway, wishing everybody a great day. Appreciate you hanging out with me for a little while. Who just called me dad? That's weird. You should call your parents. <laughs> 360 people here in the chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time, and this live will be up on YouTube tomorrow morning. Peace.